We are hearing from several Palestinian American families from our area who have been devastated by the war. Ten families who combined have lost a thousand loved ones in Gaza. They came together today to share their gut wrenching stories and plead for an immediate ceasefire. Now, what is news reporter Darla Miles is in the newsroom with their stories. Darla. Liz, this is beyond gut-wrenching and what has become a daily scramble to find missing family members in various chat groups. This group found each other. They say generations of their families who have been rooted in Gaza for more than a thousand years are being completely wiped out by the unpredictable barrage of airstrikes. I'd like to let you know that 13 minutes ago, I got, I got a text message from my mom that someone that was very close to her um, was just killed. Checking to see who's dead or alive should not be as common as looking at the weather forecast on your phone, but it has for these Palestinian Americans. 32 family members of my family were, um, their house was bombed. Half of them are still under the rubble. Ten families all sharing tragically similar stories of how the Israel-Hamas war, which is more than 5,000 miles away, has ruined their daily lives. Israel's killed over 90 uh, family members of mine. In a matter of few hours, over 104 members of my family were slaughtered by Israel. Of the 93 people of, of my family who were killed by Israel, we've, been only, we've only been able to bury 11 of them. The group brought together by the Council on Islamic American Relations New Jersey, practically begging for a ceasefire. Before the death toll had reached 20,000, long before that we've been calling on our elected officials to support a ceasefire. Among the thousands, four generations of Mohammed's family having to keep track of his deceased relatives on this master list. Yesterday I just received a uh, list uh, number 120 Palestinian family members to an airstrike by the Israelis. All they want is to save what family members they have left. Please, we want ceasefire now in Gaza. Please, President Biden, these people, not number, these people are human. Now, in their impassioned remarks this morning, each of these family members also appealed to President Biden by name. France, the U.K., and Germany, some of Israel's closest allies, have joined a global call for a ceasefire, and the U.S. has not yet at this time.